thank the interpreter we have with us today, who is Holly Walker. Why don't you give her a hand? Thank you. Uh, I want to get right down to business. Uh, sorry, I have a two Philadelphians who personally experienced uh, the tragedy of mortgage foreclosure. And the first person I want to introduce you to is Reverend Robert Johnson, who's with us today, to explain what happened to him. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We're thankful to be here, uh, all those in attendance, and mostly to Sherry Hakala. Let's give her a hand. Right to the point, and I have something to say that I think will touch each and every one of you. Just put yourself in my position. Amen. We're here today to address a wrong done to many in the city of brotherly love. The wrong Sister Margaret McKenna is here from New Jerusalem. <laughs> Sherry, to me, is uh, the people's hero, and of the people, for the people, and that's what I, I, is lacking right now in our political scene. So to me, this is the place to breathe fresh air this morning. Uh, I represent New Jerusalem, a community of, of recovering drug addicts in North Philadelphia, and all of us, you know, feel personally uh, these problems that Sherry stands for liberation from. I'm also a teacher of the Bible, and we're doing Moses right now, and Sherry's my Moses, <laughs> our liberator. And also we have with us Esther Smith, who has another story to tell you that'll once again hit our theme. also facing foreclosure. And Sherry stood by me as I struggled to keep my home. As now that Sherry is running for sheriff, we stand by her to stand by the people to keep their homes. I have no doubt that Sherry fights for what she believes in. And she believes that families should have the rights to stay and live in their homes. Vote for Sherry for sheriff today. Thank you. Galen Tyler is from Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign. Has a few words for us today. Come on. All right, Galen. Let's hear it. Good yeah, morning, everybody. Um, it's a great day today. Um, I myself and a lot of other people in this city have been working, you know, many, many years to try to get a new motion happening in this city where people are about the people and not about the corporations. And when you speak of like Sherry Huntler, that's one of the things over the years she's been. She's definitely been in the community for the people and not about the corporations. I think Sherry running for sheriff with the Green Party is something that people should all be out trying to get their friends, families, neighborhoods all involved to ensure that we get some real changes in relationship to trying to ensure the different families stay in their home. Thank you, Sherry for sure. We have with us today Hugh Giordano from the Green Party, and Hugh is part of the United Food and Commercial Workers, and he has some comments from a, a couple of the unions to give us today. Come on. Yes, uh, hello everybody. My name is Hugh Giordano, um, and I am speaking on behalf of the Green Party today of Philadelphia. Um, and also speaking on behalf of some labor unions as well. Um, unfortunately, Joe Doherty could not make it today. You know, I work on local, uh, local 401, but uh, he is supportive of Sherry Honkala, so that's a big deal. Uh, uh, basically, uh, I wanted to talk briefly. Uh, Sherry Honkala is what a Green Party candidate should be. Um, and we noticed that right off when we uh, saw her at one of the events. Um, me and uh, one of my uh, co-Green Party uh, people, uh, Hillary Kane, saw her and we automatically went after her because she's what we want and what we need to see in Philadelphia. Uh, the Green Party is an independent third party. I know a lot of people may not know what it is, but it's an independent third party that stands for the people, not for the corporations, not for the CEOs, not for the super rich. And we're going to make sure 
that we get people elected who stand for us and not for the Wall Street gangsters and banksters, because that's exactly what they are. Um, the, the one thing about the Green Party that's very important to know is the Green Party takes no money from corporate tax. So there is no interest. Unlike the Democrats and Republicans who go around and talk and say, you know, we stand for you and we believe in you and we want to stand by your family. Uh, most of these people who run for office are what corporate corporate uh, executives, CEOs, uh, corporate attorneys. How can they understand anybody in this room today? They can't, right? But Sherry Honko, I can. And that's the good thing about it. And that's why she's a Green Party candidate. Social justice, democracy, uh, good public education, a living wage, union jobs. These are things that Sherry stands for. These, are, and even though she's only, you know, run for a sheriff and her power is limited uh, to keeping people in their homes, which is very important and, and a great thing because that's affecting everybody in this community and everybody in the city. Sherry will also speak on on other issues too, and we know that. And that's why we're proud, and everybody should be proud that Sherry Honkla is running for sheriff as a Green Party candidate. Thank you. <laughs> Here. We have with us today also uh, Thomas Earl, who is the chief executive officer of the largest center for independent living in the United States, and that's Liberty Resources. Please welcome him. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here in support of Sherry in this, this uh, very exciting day, but I, I really am not here. Uh, at, on behalf of Liberty Resources, I am here as a civil rights attorney and social justice activist who has fought for the past 20 years to assist people with disabilities, many of them who are low income, um, have access to the community like everybody else does. Uh, and this often includes access to housing. Uh, and it is an injustice that many of our citizens, including folks with disabilities, face accelerated foreclosure processes where they are not given a chance to work things out. It's not the solution that this city should be embracing. Uh, I, when I went to law school, uh, there was a, a saying that you can become a lawyer or a social activist to do one of two things. You can be a social architect or you can be a social parasite. And we have seen the impact on our city of career politicians and corruption. We read about it in the Philadelphia Inquirer almost every day now. There's some problem with some city agency or some operation, and the sheriff's office is not uh, any stranger to that. Uh, the foreclosure process in Philadelphia needs to take a new turn. There are ways to resolve these issues. Uh, like the innovative foreclosure diversion program that Judge Rizzo has so strongly implemented in Philadelphia and that is becoming a model around the country. We need fresh blood in the sheriff's office uh, to really take on these issues and really give people due process before they lose their All right, Once again, I want to <clears throat> introduce myself. I'm Jim Moran, uh, Director Emeritus of something called Phil Posh. I won't go into all that, but it's a labor organization of about 100 unions. It teaches job safety and health, a nonprofit group. Uh, and I'm also a, a board member of the Communication Workers of America, Local 38010, though I'm not here representing them today. Uh, and I'm very proud to be involved in this campaign. I think it's gonna be a great campaign in a great city because we have the greatest candidate. All right. Yeah. And let me reintroduce Sherry Conklin. It's very important to me that this uh, campaign is uh, inclusive as possible, so I've asked Tara to say a couple things in Spanish, okay? And then I'll say something. Bienvenido todo el mundo a nuestra actividad para correr Sherry para Sheriff. Nosotros queremos hacer que todo el mundo entiende que nuestra comunidad también está respaldando una persona que va a luchar y pelear con todas sus fuerzas para que nosotros nos quedamos en nuestras viviendas. Porque una casa es un hogar. 
y un hogar nosotros lo llevamos en el corazón. Y nuestro corazón está con Sherry Hankala. Gracias. Thank you. One final thing uh, before Sherry, and that is uh, another labor person weighed in today and, and, and is, uh, apologizes for not being here in person, and that's uh, an old friend and uh, supporter of, of all good causes, uh, a fighter in his own right, uh, Thomas Paine Cronin, who says this. Today we see far too many Democratic and Republican politicians governing for the benefit of the rich and powerful. Too many of our citizens are unemployed underemployed, losing jobs, health care, pensions, and losing their homes. We need a leader who has a history of standing up, sitting in, speaking up, or even going to jail for the poor and powerless or those perceived to be. We have that person with us today, and I'm proud to support Sherry Honkla as the new sheriff in town. Thomas Payne Cronin. Thank you. Okay, if we could start with um, taking a minute to thank God that none of our disabled brothers and sisters, sisters yesterday, that they didn't die in a fire. And that we pray that this city houses each and every one of them. Let us also take a moment of silence for all of the families last year who didn't have their loans modified and lost their homes. Let us also take a moment for the two individuals that committed suicide two years ago because they lost their homes. All right, my name is Sherry Honkala. I'm a formerly homeless mother of two children and I'm running for sheriff on the Green Party ticket. I'm running because I know I'm not going to do this alone. I know that I'm going to do this with hundreds of thousands of Philadelphians and people participating in this campaign across the entire country. I'm running for sheriff because I love Philadelphia. And things are born in Philadelphia. And the idea of breaking with the corporations and corporate America supporting the Democrats and the Republicans we're going to birth that idea here. We're going to spread it like wildfire across the entire country. Are you yeah. with me? Yeah. I love Philadelphia. And it's time for us to have a people's sheriff who will keep families in their homes. And that's exactly what I will do. While my opponents proceed from a politics of scarcity, I believe that we live in a city and a country that has plenty. It's just that we've been protecting the wrong people. When I become sheriff of Philadelphia, we will have no more empty homes. We will fill the vacant homes. We will take the homes left to rot and make them into decent, affordable, accessible housing. We don't have to have 40,000 vacant vessels sitting, doing nothing in our city. We will empty the streets and the nursing homes and houses taken by the Sheriff's Department and drug raids will be turned to long-term recovery houses and affordable housing for everyone. We will work with our communities day in and day out to build a community-controlled land bank where we will be in charge of what happens in our neighborhoods. We will crack down on speculators that leave abandoned properties to destroy our neighborhoods. And we will pursue a class action suit 
against Wells Fargo for taking bailout money and destroying families' lives and their future. So when my opponents say that I will not uphold the law, Yes, we are upholding the law. We are upholding this higher law, which says that we as low-income families, working families across the city of Philadelphia, deserve the same kind of protection as the banks do. Wow. We will have a simple, transparent accountability accounting system for the entire public to monitor. It will make sense. We will know where the money is going. Yes. We will green the transporting of prisoners in Philadelphia. And we will teach people how to do it across the country. We will develop a community diversion program for people behind on their taxes or their mortgages because of unemployment or some other hardship instead of kicking families out of their homes. There has to be another answer. It's time for all of us to think out of the box. And that begins here in Philadelphia. Another Philadelphia is possible. It only requires all of us step forward and get involved. I will need your help, your time, for you to go door to door, for you to hold house parties, to talk about it in your churches and in your mosques and in your synagogues. We will have to demand that people step forward and take a position. Are they going to be on the side of the people, Sheriff, or on the side of the wealthy that per continues to destroy our neighborhoods? This will be the choice. I need each and every one of you, your time your, and your money, families facing foreclosure, people being tired of being gentrified out of existence, people that have been told that they don't matter because they have a disability or English isn't their first Latin language or they're low income. This is the campaign to work on because you matter. <laughs> Vote for me to be the next Philadelphia Sheriff. My website is SherryHonkala.com. Let's show them that we care about each other, our city, and our country. Together we will keep families where they belong, in their homes. Thank you. Can I ask all the speakers to please stand up so we can give them a round of applause and thank them. Philadelphia. And that's the way we started.